Hi there, I'm Steve Knutson. I'm a Microsoft MVP for Office Services and Apps. Um, and I've had a question come up today from someone about how do I um, take my Microsoft SharePoint site and, um, and work with it with Teams. So I've created a um, basic SharePoint site here and I've customised the landing page a little bit with a few buttons on the side here and the news web part. And I've also added into here a uh, templates document library down here which is an addition to the default libraries. Now, if your site's not Teams enabled on the home page down the bottom left down here, you'll see an option which says uh, turn this site into a team. And if you click that, uh, it'll um, enable the site uh, for Teams. So within my SharePoint site, um, I'm happily working away in here. I can load documents in. So for example, my templates library, I've got a selection of documents. Uh, and then within that uh, library there, I've also got, um, I can also add use all the standard SharePoint functionality. Now, if I jump across into Microsoft Teams, you'll see that I've also got a site here called Live Demo. This is my same, the same, uh, associated with the same site that we've just looked at in SharePoint. Now, under here you'll see it's got a channel called General, and if we, um, if we go into that channel, you'll see that there's a Files tab and a Wiki tab. Now, what we could do is we could actually go and add some additional functionality from SharePoint. So the first thing that we can do is add another document library. So if I want to add my template document library, I'll just go into here, I'll choose the SharePoint document library option from the menu, uh, select my site, choose next, uh, it'll show me a list of libraries, pick my library, and then post uh, to the channel about this tab, I can choose that option or not there. So click next and save, and what will happen now is we'll start getting a document library associated with my site at the top here. And it has the same files as I see in the library if I go into my um, site here. So the same library, the same files appear in both places. Now one other thing I wanted to show you is that the default documents library here, if we click into that one, you'll see it's got a folder in it called General. Uh, now the General folder um, is a folder that's used by, um, uh, by the channel. So any files saved into that channel, will appear into the general library, which is currently empty. Um, so I'm just going to upload a file, just to show you the, what actually happens here. So we'll go and pick a file up from the file server, from the local drive, I'll just pick up doc document 9, and uh, it's going to upload into there. Let's see it's uploading the file, so we're in SharePoint store at the moment. Now if I jump back over into Teams, uh, click into my general uh, channel, and then click to the files tab, you'll see that that document exists now inside uh, my team. So that's how you uh, quickly upload files into a, into a Teams area. Now, one more trick before we go, um, and this one is simply taking the SharePoint homepage. So the homepage for the site can be added to your team. Uh, choose the SharePoint option. When you choose this option here, it will pick the site associated with the team. Um, you choose a page, in this case I'm gonna choose Home, which is my homepage. Post, uh, save that option. And what it does is it adds the home page to my team. So now I can access that page without having to actually go directly into SharePoint. You'll see I've got the same buttons and the um, and the news articles and so on. So any news article published in SharePoint will also appear within the team. Uh, and I can reorder these tabs by dragging across here. Um, unfortunately, you can't drag home right at the very left, so it's uh, so it's the default tab. Uh, also under here you get a few things around settings, so setting in here uh, where you can configure that um, uh, that item, change the page, etc. if you want to. So those are, uh, this is quite useful because you may also want to post in here uh, a SharePoint page which rolls up documents, document views and so on. So uh, items for your uh, requiring attention, um, specific views for contracts for example, um, reminders, uh, other new services and events and so on. So all of the SharePoint functionality can be used in a page like that. Um, and the great thing about it is it's visible to anyone that's a member of that team. So that's all I've got to demo today. Um, hopefully that's been a useful little tip and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Cheers, bye.